Hi, my name is Jason. I'm going to show you a couple things about how to do the Matrox MX2 export. Um, right now in, in Mac Caption, I've got uh, a video loaded. Doesn't really matter what kind of video. I've got some captions loaded that go with the video. Um, just as a general rule, when formatting captions, you want to stay to about two lines or maybe three at the most, but two is recommended with a maximum of 28 characters per line. Um, that makes it the easiest to read. If you have more than two lines, uh, although it's supported, you can you know come into readability issues. Uh, one thing I need to do first, check my encode preferences. You want to make sure that 608 encode, this is for uh, standard definition captions and also high definition. Make sure I'm on program A, so I want this program A to go to CC1 track. Also under 708, make sure that program A is going to service number one. If this is set to do not encode, you won't get any 708 high definition captions. So I'm going to do the export here. Now in this case, I don't really care about this video file, so I'm not going to use that for my movie. I'm going to make just an audio file for the MX02. Let's call this test1.mov. Okay, you can see down here in the message window, it tells me we exported 37 captions, done, no errors or anything like that, no problems with the time codes. Now I'm going to switch over to Final Cut Pro. I've got a uh, 1080i, uh, 1080-60i, right, uh, ProRes file here that I'll be using. I'm also going to import the audio file that I just output, the test one. This is the MX02 audio. Now I'm going to start by putting the 1080i on my timeline. Now I don't know what format my sequence is right now, but when I put this on the timeline, it'll ask me, do you want to change the sequence settings to match the clip settings? I'm going to say yes. And we're going to take a look at that just to make sure. So hit Command-0, looking at the sequence, 1920 to 1080. Um, this sequence is set to progressive. I think my file is interlaced, so I want to make sure that that's correct. It's ProRes. For the MX02 captions, I want to change this to 24-bit audio and discrete channels. That's pretty important there. Another thing we need to do is go to the audio outputs. Normally you only get two tracks uh, unless you change the default. So on here I'm going to change this sequence to eight outputs. And seven and eight I'll change to mono because the audio is going to go on just track eight. Now another very important thing to do is since we changed that, these tracks by default, even if I had one that says A8, it's only going to go to audio track 1 and 2. I have to tell Final Cut Pro to change the mapping. So I right click here, you can right click on this little green arrow, under audio outputs I'm going to change this track, just this A4 track, to go on audio track 8. Now these are still on, their stereo, so this is going to tracks 1 and 2, and I'm going to put my captions on the one that goes to track 8. So now I've got my video audio going to tracks 1 and 2, the caption is going to track 8, and just to double check in our uh, MX02 preferences, right, we're going to preserve the closed captioning using that. And now when I play this video, um, I'm not getting any buzzing out of my speakers. If I was hearing buzzing, then that would mean this audio track is not set right. But since we set it, it should be working. It's going to the correct channel. And uh, the video is playing out through the MX02, and we're getting the captions. Just to double check again the sequence settings, um, you just want to make sure that these sequence settings are correct for what you want to output, and also that they match your input video because you don't want to be uh, resizing the video or anything like that. So also make sure that these settings match your MX02 setting needs to be the same.